What's going on guys, it's you here, bringing you another finale review this time on Tact OP Destiny. And I gotta say, this finale left me confused and wanting more. But, before I even get into all that, make sure you guys stay subscribed if you're new to the channel. Comment, like, all that good jazz as it helps out tremendously. And I would appreciate you guys, your support to the channel. But let's get to it so what can i say this episode starts off with the fight between orpheus and destiny and i gotta say the fight between these two was quite astonishing the i love how they did this fight the colors uh, their motives which was one of the biggest things about this episode and this finale is both their motives and we get to see Sagan or Sagan, uh, a better understanding of him. I guess you could say that this man went kind of insane and his methods truly were, I guess, if you want to look at it this way, were wrong. I mean, I agree with that, but he wanted to end the fight with the D2s. Uh, in the end, his end goal was to get all the D2s to one continent and destroy him that way but he realized a sacrifice that was going to take he saw what he like what it was before originally trying to stop the d2s bringing hope to people all these things and just realizing in the end that people people's lives are going to be lost so i guess he basically concocted this plan and we had obviously both heaven and hell agreeing with it being part of this plan and really it's just kind of messed up all around um i don't even know if heaven and hell had a like a love affair going on between the two of them but regardless they became this new villainous creature who was very powerful and uh destiny throughout the fight was really really intense uh and even seeing tag you know even having his hair going white he started kind of to resemble destiny a little bit uh but in the end destiny does defeat orpheus and we see sagan talking to uh tagged about everything and tag finally putting an end to his reign to this attack that he was going to try to do that would have killed even more people uh, in the end though we also see how a lot of the d2s start to that were in the area start to actually die out um, obviously this crystal had a lot to do with that obviously it didn't kill everything the threat is still there but things are starting to get better after that you know but before we even get to like a, i guess a flash forward of what's going on we see how we basically have to have a goodbye between destiny and tact Tact was going to die, and they're in the same spot that they were when he promised her that he was writing that music. He does uh, fade out conscience, and he was about to die. And Destiny does take this opportunity to t call him by his name, say that she loves him, and sacrifices herself in order for her, I mean, for him to live. And we see this little moment between the two of them. Which from then on out, uh, it was never going to be the same. We see Lote going to rescue him along with everyone else. And we see him being brought back and being taken care of. Um, but we also get to see Anne or Anna joining the, the Symphonica. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And we have them uh, showing us her new hairdo. But... In the end, also, we have her taking on the identity of Destiny. She becomes a music art, but of course, not just anyone's. She becomes Tax. So in the end, we see how all three girls, Anne, Destiny, and Cosette, become one with this identity. And they all get to be with, obviously, Tax. And the episode, or the series, ends with her going into her Destiny form music art form and marches into the light really though i gotta say uh, this was a 
interesting anime because it had two big named studios uh, working on this together and creating this, which in a way is a masterpiece. You know, music was beautiful, everything was enjoyable, and I enjoyed it as well. There could have been a, a few better, quicker moments, I think, but I do hope that maybe, just maybe, we get a second season. We shall see. I mean, in the end, this was just trying to promote a gacha game that many probably play now. I don't, but still. Very good series. Let me know what you guys think, though. I'd love to know your thoughts. As always, I'll stay safe, and I'll catch you.